you might hear inflation and groan thinking about how expensive everything is getting. We expect groceries, gas, and our Disney Plus subscription to go up. But we don't see the less visible ways our financial situation is being nudged. Investments. You've put your money in savings. It's safe and it's accruing interest. So who cares if inflation is on the rise, right? $1,000 today will still be $1,000 plus interest tomorrow. Not so fast. That depends on the type of investment and what kind of interest rate you're getting. Assets with fixed long-term cash flows, such as CDs, long-term bonds, and annuities, will not escape the wrath of inflation. The buying power of that cash will decrease as inflation rises. Or adjustable cash flow, like property rental income, move with inflation. That is, as inflation rises, so does the value of those assets, such as rental income, housing values, and even some stocks. Retirement planning. You may hear that your savings dollars are going down in value, but again, it depends. If you're young, you've just started saving, and the economy will change a bazillion times before you ever think about touching your retirement savings. However, if you're a retiree during a time of inflation, your savings and other fixed income investments are exactly that, fixed. You're living off those savings now, and that monthly $1,000 check that once covered your expenses until the first is only getting you through the next two weeks. Mortgages. When it comes to inflation and mortgages, there's some winners and losers. If you have a traditional 30-year fixed rate mortgage, congratulations, you're one of the very few winners of inflation. Your monthly mortgage payment will always be the same, but over time, inflation will push your income higher and make it cheaper for you to pay off your house. But remember, this only applies to a loan with a locked-in interest rate. Mortgages or other debts with adjustable interest rates will suffer the same fate as gas prices. 